Hey, Italo. Hi, Italo. Hi, teacher. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm fine. Good, 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 good. And uh, I think this is probably your second class that you've been with me. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, well, welcome. Welcome. Let's see, we have a bunch of people coming in here. Hello, Monia. Hello, Mr. Fred. Hi. Hi, Hi how, are, how you? are you? Doing well. I'm doing, doing well. well. Good, good. My uh, teacher's assistant is back, so good. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, hey. It's been a while. Yep. I yep. You've been busy? Uh, yeah, with my studying. <laughs> okay, well, good. Good. Study hard, as they say. Okay. Yeah. S Let's see. Hey, Fendi. Hey. How are you? I am fine, thank you. <laughs> good, good, good. Let's see. John. Hello, John Elvis. Hi. How are you, John? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Okay, good. Good, good. All right, and Tyler. Hey, Tyler, what's going on? Hi. Hi, I just came from Sunday school. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you What did you learn in Sunday school? What did well, they teach you? I just uh, had church. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, good. 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 A happy day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Church is a uh, is a big deal in the Philippines. Yeah. You have a lot of people. So crowded. Were you here in December when it was Christmas time and you get up at four in the morning and go to church for I think eight days straight? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, well good, good, good. And try to try to make sure you're someplace quiet, okay, Tyler? Okay? Okay. You need for it to be quiet, okay? Okay. Hello, Het Het. <laughs> hey, Het Het. Hello, Het Het. So, Tyler, if they won't be yeah. quiet, just, just start speaking Bisaya to them. That always freaks them out, okay? Okay. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, so good, so good. So, yeah, but Tyler, though, in all seriousness, uh, it has to be a little quiet, okay? Just tell them just tell you're learning English. It's okay. Just say, Mama, I'm learning English. Come on, Mama. Don't you know what it's like to learn English? <laughs> so, hey, Het, Het. So it looks like you're having a few problems here, okay? It's all right. So, um, okay, so today what we're going to work on is we're going to work on WH questions, Okay. Who, what, when, where, why. Um, there's also other ones as well as far as like how and what. Okay. Or I'm sorry, I already said what. So we'll be working on those um, those questions today. Well, here's two more people. Uh, hi, Het Het. Yeah, hi, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And how about you? Oh, I'm doing good. Just another beautiful day. Yeah, good. good. Good to hear, sir. Yep, yeah. Yep. 
Yep. So all right. So good. And it looks like you brought a friend with you, uh, Jessica. Hello, uh -huh. Jessica. Hello, teacher. Okay. Yep. Hey, uh, Tyler. Just yeah. Ty, just to let you have to wear a shirt in class, okay? Okay, right. I'm still wearing. Okay. Oh, and a tie. Look at you. Whoa, you look you look very dapper. Gosh, what a dapper looking guy. Okay, so good, good. I'm sorry, Jessica. So, hello, Jessica. How are you? <laughs> Don't worry. I am fine. You t-shirt? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Is that your dog with you? Is that your dog there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's a great looking dog. Is that a uh, Labrador? Is that a Labrador? <laughs> yeah. I have a, yeah. No, it's Cocker. Oh, Cocker, okay. All right, Cocker Spaniel. Okay, well, good. Good. Nice dog, though. Very nice dog. So, where are you from, Jessica? I am from Nicaragua. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. You know, I didn't make it to Nicaragua, I made it to Panama and Costa Rica. Really? Well, Costa Rica para tres meses. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Great. But, uh,. Yeah, a long time ago, I was surfing there, back when yeah, I... Uh, from Manawa, you know Manawa? Mm, no, no, I just, I never, I never made it there. I know it's really close, but I never made it there. So, yep. So, so guys, by the way, let's, let's just, uh, it's every, um... Hello, Mom! Hi, Kamustaka, Mom. Kasaboko. Kasaboka. <laughs> so, oh. so mom, do you mom do you speak Bisaya or you only speak Tagalog? No, I only speak Tagalog and English. Mm. Where okay. is this base? Huh? What? Where is this base at? Is this well, for no, no, free? no. I'm. Yeah, it's for free. Don't worry. I'm not charging your credit card right now. Okay. okay? And Tyler, Tyler's a good student. I like having him in class. So he's a, he's a good guy. Yep. So no, every, everything's fine. So don't worry. He's in good hands. Okay. And I, I'm down. I'm down in Lapu Lapu. So I'm not too far away. So if you get mad, you can just fly down here and beat on me. Okay. Okay. Right. Can I but also I enroll? A, you you can enroll, but you have to speak Bisaya too. Oh, I don't speak Bisaya. I'm just, I'm just I'm just kidding. You you can enroll. You can enroll. <laughs> But actually, actually, class class is getting started. Just watch uh, watch what Tyler does, and you can just watch the class. Okay, so okay. all good. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's see. Welcome to class. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hello, uh, uh, Chicket, Chicket Chan. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. 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 Thank you. And you? Good. I'm doing very mm -hmm. well. Doing very well. Welcome to class. We have a, a grammar class going on right now. Yeah. So good. Good, good. Welcome again. And let's see here. So Hitalo, hey Hitalo. Yeah, just just keep in mind when you're not when you're not speaking, make sure you mute your microphone. You know, make sure you mute your microphone, okay? All right. So good. So good. And to to answer your question, Shay, here's uh here's <laughs> there's some green tea in there. <laughs> Thanks for looking after me, Shay. So, okay, so folks, uh, this is a beginner grammar class. I'm going to slow things down, all right, and we'll go at a really slow pace. But let me show you all something, okay? Let me show you something real quick. So, when you're not speaking, right? Okay, what I want you to do, and it's not a not a big um, not a big favor. Okay. And wow, this is taking a little long. Let me see what's going on here. Okay. So, yeah, when you're not speaking, there's this red mute button up here, okay? All right. And uh, all you need to do is just make sure you're muted when you're not speaking, so that way there's not a lot of uh, sound coming, okay? Because it's good for me to be able to hear you. I need to be able to hear what's going on. All right, so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on some grammar. We're going to go over the WH questions here. Okay, there's a long list. And let me go ahead and share this with you. And as we progress, I'm going to be here for the next four hours, okay? You're more than welcome to join along. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on a grammar class. <coughs> Excuse me. 
where we cover these WH questions. Uh, then after that, what we're going to get into is we're going to get into frequency verbs or adverbs. So that way you can talk about how often you do things using, you know, like what time do you do this, how often, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then we'll just kind of continue along. We'll have a uh, writing class and so forth that's just continuing with the same, same type of theme. All right? So good, good, good. So um, uh, uh, Chukit, is that right? Chukit Chan? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So can you do me a favor? Uh, Yep, so I've shared that. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on the WH questions. Can you start off with reading uh, reading this part here? Okay. okay. Excuse me one second. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, WH questions allows a speaker to find out more information about topic. They are as follows. When? Where? Who? Why, how, and what? Okay, uh, good, good, good. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Okay, so when you want to know what time, you know, or pardon me, yeah. you want to know when, you want to know the time, where, so where's it at? Well, it's in my house, it's in my brother's house. Who? Okay, well, who is it? Well, it's my aunt, it's my mom, it's my uncle, it's my brother, it's my boyfriend, my girlfriend. Why? What's the reason behind this? Well, we just want to meet and um, you know hang out and so forth. Okay, and then how? Okay, so how are you going to get there? How are we going to have the party? All different things like that. Okay, all right. And then what? You know, as far as object, idea, action, and so forth. Okay. So, you know, what are you going to do there? So these are various how, W... Hmm? How it depends on the word that it's come, it's come after, right? Like how many, how much? Yeah, how many, how, how much? Um, yeah, so, so yeah, how many, how much, uh, how often, right? So, I mean, yeah. all these... What the, what the main purpose here is, is... Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's just knowing that, you know, when you use when, you're trying to figure out the time, okay? But, however, you can use how often to also figure out time, right? And we'll get into that when we get into adverbs of frequency because how often can also mean time. Well, how often? It's every Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So is that kind yeah, of what okay. you're asking, Monia? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, so th these are... These are generalizations, okay, you know, but for the most part they're spot on, you know, uh, but you can still kind of mix, thing, mix things up. All right, so good. Let's continue on here, okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out whose, whose background that is. <laughs> so, Me too. So for, <laughs> Yeah, so so Tyler, make sure make sure you're muted, uh, okay? When uh when when you're not speaking, okay, Tyler? <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going on in your house, but um, that's uh that's their their own uh, own idea. Okay, so let's let's look a little bit further into here. Hello, Fendi. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, go ahead. Can you read this, please? Here with the which. Okay. Other words. Mm -hmm. Other words can also be used in to inquire about specific information. Which one? Choice of alternatives. Was possessions. Warm. Person. Objective. Formal. How much? Price. Amount. Non. Count. How many? Quantity. Count. How long? Duration. How often? Frequency. How far? Distance. What kind of description? Thank you. Okay. Yep. No, thank you. Thank you. So uh, any questions on these? So we're going to go back and make some sentences, but that also helps you. As, mm, go ahead. Okay, teacher. I am sometimes a little bit confused about how to use warm in the sentence. How to use whom? Yes, whom in the sentence. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can ask, like, whom, whom, whom is just used as a more proper 
English. There's also, wow, there's a whole class I gave on this as far as who and whom. Um, so yeah, whom is, is actually proper English when you're asking about somebody, okay? You know, whom is going, right? Uh, who is going, you can also ask that as well. But typically, or pardon me, we've just become so accustomed uh, to using who instead of whom. Okay, so whom can to be subject, right? Uh, as far as that, you're just asking. It's a it's a formal way of asking something, you know, of who and uh, or whom. Yes, it's a subject. Whom is coming? Okay. 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 So yeah, it's the subject of the sentence, right? Okay. okay. So and let's see here. What else? Um, what else with this? Okay, let's uh, let's continue along then. All right, so uh, let's see here. So Hitalo, can you continue, please, here, Hitalo? Can you read this? Mm, okay. Mm, the grammar used to be w, w eight questions depends on whether the topic being asked about is the subject or predicate of a sentence for the subject pattern, simply replace the person or things being asked about with the appropriation, appropriate, W8 word, someone has my baseball, something is bothering you, who has my baseball, what is bothering you okay good 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 so um <clears throat> excuse me so again with this it's just it depends on the topic being asked about as a subject right okay or the predicate it just shows the pattern here okay so um you know someone has my baseball who has my baseball all right so that's depending on the subject pattern of it and then something is bothering you, what is bothering you? So in this, you're asking um, about what it is, what the something is. And this one is who, because you're asking about someone. All right? OK. And we'll get to, uh, we'll get to using some sentences with this fairly soon. Jessica, can you, uh, can you go on to the next one, please? For the predicate pattern, WH, WH question forma formation depends on whether there is an auxiliary verb in the original sense. Auxiliary or helping verb are verb that praise mean verbs. Auxiliary verb are ita how, don't, how I can pronounce italicize. It, itali yeah, italicized. Italicized. Mm -hmm. Italicized in the following sense: I can do it. They are leaving. I have eaten my lunch. I shall have finished my homework. Okay, so good, good, good. And let's uh, so let's let's start back here at the top. Let's start getting into some W H questions. Okay, so let's give some examples in here. All right. So um, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, so yeah, Tyler, just uh, just just go ahead, just keep paying attention to class. So, uh, John, hey, John. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you make up a when question? Okay, so if you're asking somebody a when question. When question? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, so like uh, when is the party? Can you think of an example sentence with when? Um, for example, when when is when is your um, TV? Uh, when is your TV? Do you mean when is your TV show starting? Is that what you want to ask? Mm, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the other one would probably be like. Where is your TV? Because you want to know where exactly it is, right? Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. 
Okay, so no problem. Uh, Monia, go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you do a where question, please? Where is my keys? Where is your what? Key keys. Where, oh, so where are my keys? Uh, where, are, where are my keys? Yes. Mm -hmm, no problem, no problem. Okay. And then Tyler, can you give a who question? Who is in the door right now? Who is at the door right now? Yes. Okay. All right. And then uh, let's continue on here. So go ahead. Uh, she could uh, yeah. give a why question, please. Why? Why do I study English? Mm -hmm. What's that again? Why did I start studying English? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. And then uh, Fendi, a how, how question. Hello, Fendi. You might be on oh, I'm sorry. Fendi. It's <laughs> yes. okay. I'm sorry. No worries, no worries, no worries. Yes. How? Okay. How to learn English properly? How to learn English properly? Yep, yep. Yeah. And Tyler, make sure make sure you mute yourself. Okay. So Hitalo, do me a favor. Make sure you mute yourself when you're not talking, just because you make a fair amount of noise. Okay. All right. Okay. Or otherwise, one of the other students will end up muting you. Okay. So Hitalo, a what question? Go ahead. A what question? What's your favorite food? <clears throat> Uh, what is your favorite food? Okay, all right. Yeah. But hey, yeah, Hitalo. So all's good. You can join class, but just keep in mind when you start typing, we can hear all of that. Okay. So when you're speaking, please avoid typing. Okay. All right. Hitalo, can you hear me? Hitalo. Hitalo, you're not you're not muted right now. Hello, Hitalo. Yeah, I know, but you're not <laughs> Hitalo, you're not muted. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And you keep typing and then it we can hear that, okay? Alright? So that's that's what we're trying to explain to you, okay? Hello, Van. Hi, Van. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Van. Welcome to class. Maybe you have your mute button on. Okay. Check to make sure that you don't have your mute button on. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that you're not going to join class. That's all right. Hey, Jessica. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, so so go ahead and pick another one of these to make another question out of. All right, maybe like a why or a when. Just make sure that you uh, get the gist of it, okay? okay. Go ahead. Ooh. Let me show you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, why everyone are so quiet? <laughs> why is, uh, so, so yeah, so you want to say why is everyone so quiet? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, the reason the reason there's a strict teacher, okay? So anyway, so John, go on to the next one, okay? Go ahead, John. About what? Uh, about? Mm -hmm. Hello. Um, who is this person? Who is this person? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Monia? Yes. Go ahead, um, use when, where, who, go ahead. Who is speaking who on is the phone? Speaking, who's speaking on the phone? Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, Tyler, go ahead. Mm -hmm. When will they come? 
When will they come? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good, good, good. Hello, Van. Hey, Van. Hi, Van. Make sure there's a red mute button. There's a red microphone, okay. Van. Yep. Hi, okay. how are you? Okay, teacher. I'm fine. Good, uh, good, good. Uh, I will try to make a one question from this uh, WH question. Mm -hmm. uh, What's the reason? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Who is she like that? Can I make this sentence like? It's who is okay. she? Who, who, who sitting uh, behind you like that? Or yeah, who is that sitting behind you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. Okay. Good. 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 Okay, and then uh, let's see. So let's uh, let's continue on here. Let's get in, and let me see one other thing here. Yeah, we don't need to go down that far. Okay. Okay, so here here's some choice of alternatives. Here's some other ways to use these as well, and a little more WHs in here. All right, so um, uh, chick cut. Can you use which, which when you're talking about a choice of alternatives? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Which one do you like? Mm -hmm. Which one do you like? Yep. Go ahead, Fendi. Whose? Me? Mm -hmm. Yep, whose? Whose? <laughs> Whose? Yeah, no, no. Who's? Just use a sentence. Yeah, whose? Who's the know, book? Who? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, belong to who's the book on the table? Whose book is that on the table? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And Hitalo. Whom? Okay. And let let me explain who and whom a little bit better. Okay. I should probably have explained a little bit better, uh, Fendi. So, and this is a little bit difficult, um, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's okay to be using uh, who most of the time, okay, and also who usually gets, uh, usually gets used as well. So you can think of it this way. Um, <clears throat> so when you're talking about that, about the, uh, excuse me, about the difference between who and whom, whom is usually when you're referring to an object in this sentence, okay? Uh, okay? Whom, yeah, like whom did you meet, right? Okay, so, okay. but you can also say who did you meet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, but, uh, uh, a teacher, how about whom and whose? It's kind of have yeah. the same meaning, right? Um, so, no, a little bit different because whose is possession, okay? Mm -hmm. And when you're talking about whom, you're talking more about the object of the action, okay? So whom did you see? Um, whom did you talk to yesterday, of right? whom are you talking about? It's refer about to the objective. Yeah, whom are you talking about? Yep, same type of thing. It's okay, just so we... we uh-huh, yes? Okay, can I always... Uh, use who instead of whom? So that's the thing. You can almost always use who, okay? And it's just okay, becomes ever, something... Ever, ever who. Yeah, and, th and that's... It just becomes so accustomed that where we use who, all right? And if you mm -hmm. want to... If okay. you want to think about when to use it, okay? All right? So just think of him, all right? And if you think of a sentence and you want to use whom, you want to sit there and decide if it's who or whom, just ask you if it's he or him if you had to replace that. All right? So, All right. I, yeah, and, it's, and I, I know that's a, it's a kind of a tricky thing. The thing is, typically you can say who. I don't, I don't really don't know of a case where you can't replace whom with who, right? Who did you meet yesterday? Who did you work with? Whom did you work with? Okay, so when you yeah, have and, that, and and who's who's for position means that uh, he who owns this thing, who owns mm -hmm. this T-shirt or yep. shoe, right? 
Yep, yep. Yeah. You wouldn't say uh, uh, whose did you work Who's, with? It would be who did you work with? Whose car is that over there? Right? This, yes. Or book. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, teacher, hello. Yep. Can I ask the this one? Whose? Whose? Uh, I got it. Uh, like uh, some belonging like that. Yeah, it's just a possession. You know, whose yeah, car yeah. is that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, and Tyler, uh, so you would say, whom are you talking about? You don't need to say of, okay? And Tyler, one, one thing for you, and, and please don't take this in the wrong way, just that, so you know, I, I've been in the Philippines for a while. Be really careful because they'll mix up a, an, the, um, you know, they'll use of a lot, okay? So okay. When, it, when it comes to prepositions, okay, and when it comes to articles, Okay, be careful because you're living in a world now where people mix up articles and prepositions all the time, okay? The rest of it's usually correct. And keep in mind as well that, so have you been learning Tagalog yet? Have yeah. you learned Tagalog? Okay. So you know like in Tagalog, uh, they don't have plurals, right? Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't use plurals. So also too, when you find people from the Philippines speaking English, They'll mess things up like that. They 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 don't know. They'll mix up if you have like a singular and a plural, then they'll mix it up. And again, I'm just telling you, okay? I'm not saying that there's anything bad. I'm just telling yeah. you to look out for that because of because of the fact that there's no plurals, okay? All right. Um, so let's see. So let's continue on. Who whose turn is it? Whom did I call on last time? Right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Hitalo, did you use whom in a sentence? I think we last last left off with you. Oh, whose car is that? Okay, I see. All right. Okay, good. And good interaction with everybody. Jessica, go ahead. Uh, I think you're on how much? How much? Okay. Uh, how much is the movie ticket cost? How much does the movie ticket cost, right? Oh, it does. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. So that's that's a price amount. So also too, what we're dealing with now is we're dealing with non-count and count. All right. Okay. So a non-count noun. When you just talked about how much does that cost? Okay. And how can I say how much is the watermelon cost? Uh, or is dust? Uh, say that again. Okay. How much is the watermelon cost? I am so sorry. I honestly am listening to you. Say it real slow. How much is the what watermelon cost? Okay, so you want to say how much does the watermelon cost? Mm -hmm. It does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, does. How much does the watermelon cost? Okay. Yep, so Tyler, yeah, you won't want to say how much is my 20 water buckets, okay? So I understand you're trying to deal with non-count and you use a container word for, um, for water, right? Okay, so you just say how much for the water, okay? All right, and you can say how much for the twenty buckets of water, how much you paid. I may use yeah. us or for. Say it again. I may use thus or for. Uh, you can say how much for, uh, how much for this dog. Okay, <laughs> so that way, yeah, how much for the dog? How much for this dog? How much for a dog? So it just depends. So if I say how much for a dog. I'm just talking in general. If I say how much for the dog, then that means a particular dog that I know. Okay, so, and then how much for this dog is the same as the dog. You're just pointing to a, a dog. How much for, for that notebook? How much for that notebook, huh? And then you could say just in general, how much for a notebook? If you If you never knew, if you didn't know the price of a notebook. So don't worry, those those can be interchanged, all right? Okay. You can say, yeah, yeah, so so definitely. Uh, okay, and then uh, Fendi, so how much did you pay for your phone bill last month? 
okay? Or this month is what you'd want to say. All right, so John, let's go on to the next one with how many. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe how many apples do you have? Uh, how many apples do you have? Yes. Mm -hmm. Score? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, correct, and I don't have any. So, Monia, how long? Yeah. How long have you been in Italy? Oh, I've never been to Italy, but boy, I'd love to. Oh, mm. so sad. Yeah. Even me. So sad. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you haven't been there either? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, oh, well, we can always dream. So, uh, Tyler, where'd you go, Tyler? <laughs> Tyler's gone. There he is. Okay, Tyler. He's a cute kid, huh? So, Tyler, uh, how often? Go ahead and use how often, please, in a sentence. What? Yeah. What? That's how sad. often? Yeah, use how often in a sentence. Give me an example. You know, like, how often do you attend Colingo classes? How often... How often is this class? Okay, so okay, so you, you need you need to put in more than that, okay? So what you would say is uh, how often does this class meet? All right? Okay? And then you'd also need to bring in things. Uh, you'd want to say if this class meets on a if this class meets at a regular time, every week how often does it meet okay so you need to make sure you add a little bit more in there so good uh, Parandaran how often how often do you go to the market Parandaran okay and AMP how often do you go to the park yep perfect okay good good okay and Van the next one how far how far okay I will try it uh, how far your home from this uh, post office like that. Mm -hmm. How far is your home from the post office? Okay. Yep. How far is? You'll need to use is there. Okay. So oh, good. Good. Excuse me. Yeah, that's all right though. Uh -huh, go ahead. Uh, Findy wrote wrote a question about home. Um, I thought she. I was just reading the one about the phone bill. Is that the one, the phone bill? No, no, no. How much? No, before. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me. I'm before sorry, Fendi. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to. Uh, oi, oi, oi. There's so many yeah, messages. Wrote, whom, whom visited you last night? Oh, month? okay. Whom and whose? <laughs> my previous oh, question. Mm -hmm. My question. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, Fendi. Oh, who, whom visited you last mm -hmm. night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you just say who visited you last night, and that one who visited you last night, because uh, that's the person with the action. Okay, so okay. that's that's who's giving the action. Who oh. action? All right, as opposed to um, let, let me uh, whom did you serve last night? Okay. Because you're the one committing the action of serving them, and then they're the person who's the object. Do you get how complicated this is? Okay. Yes. So it's a, it's a subject. Pardon me. It's a subject of the sentence. Okay. Okay. So so is it allowed to use the to use a verb in a past in the question, like visited or paid? Uh, I'm sorry. Say say that again. Go on. A verb in a past with ed, like visited and bait. Can we use it in the question? Yeah. Yep. So so look at amps. Amp amp has a perfect question. Whom did you visit? Yeah, but I'm sorry. Amp almost perfect. So just get rid of the two amp. Okay. Whom did you visited last night? Okay. Whom did you or whom did you visit last night? Amp is what you'd want to put in there, you know. Um, so wait, yeah. so who, yeah, so you would need to change that around that if it was who visited you last night, whom, 
did you party <laughs> with? Easy. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I'm just trying to figure out the ED in there when you when you could use the ED, because I I don't think okay. you can. I don't I don't I don't know if you can because you're the one with the action. Hmm. That's a good question. That's a good question. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Um. Okay, but back to amps. So, amp, just to let you know, uh, whom did you visit last night? All right? And what your question is, Monia, is when do you use the ED, right? When do you use the past of the verb? Yes. Is that right, Monia? Yeah. Yes, yes. And the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm sorry. This is a complicated one. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think that you. I don't think you can get to an ED form. Um, huh. Yeah. So I, I don't. I don't. And I'm sorry. I just trying to. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I don't I, because of the way that it's set up. Because of the object, you can always say like in this. Um, you know. Back to back to his example, who visited you last night, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, so amp. It's not so much. It's not so much with who because we don't know the subject. Okay. It's just with whom because what we're doing is we're talking about the object. So you're the one committing the action, right? And then whom? That's the object of the sentence. So that's how that works out, AMP, okay? So yeah, I don't think you can use an ED. Who studied math this morning? Um, who studied math this morning? Yeah, but that question is not correct, though, AMP. Uh, so you would say, who studied with you this morning, right? Okay, and then the thing is that... Math? Yeah, so so amp. What we're trying to talk about here is we're trying to talk about whom, not who, but whom, and then an ed form. So we're not concerned about the who with an ed form. We know that can happen. We're just trying to figure out with whom, and I don't think you can uh, get an ed form. Hello, uh, Jim. Jim Roti. Hi, Jim. Or Ian Roti. Hey, Ian. Hi, Oh. Hi. Hi, Ian. How are you? <laughs> Hello, Ian. So, so look, Ian. Hey, Ian. You can't, you can't continue to come into my. Yeah, you can't continue to come into my classes like this and just interrupt people and not talk. Okay. Hello, Ian Roti. Hello. Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. So, Im, Im Roti. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with some folks here. Okay, so back to this. And sorry to take so long, everybody, but I'd rather answer the question properly, okay? Um, so, okay, so your question is answered, uh, Moni. I don't know a situation where you can use whom and then also use the past tense ED like that. All right? Okay? In that sort of manner, All right? So, okay. so Im, Im Roti, one yeah. last chance. Hello, hello, Im. Yeah, hello, hello. Hi, Im. Hi, Hi, Im. So, uh, uh, yeah, so Im, Im, I'm where are you from? I'm sorry because I'm from Indonesia. Okay. Well, you know what? There's lots of students I have from Indonesia that have a lot better manners. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just, just yes. keep in mind. Keep in mind when you're coming here to class, don't make the teacher, teacher uh, keep. No, 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 one second here. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Just one second, okay? I've been teaching yeah. here for a while, okay? Let me speak yeah. first, okay? When you okay, come to class, you. You, have to, you have to treat this as a regular classroom, okay? okay? And you wouldn't walk into class, have a teacher call on you, and then you okay. sit there for three minutes with no response, right? Okay, okay. Okay? So Thank make you. sure you come to class prepared. Make sure there's not a lot of background noise, okay? You're welcome. Okay. All right, so let's continue on, folks. 
Okay, so good. So we got that out of the way. Um, so let's uh, let's look in here. Let's do a few practice tests in here. Okay, All right. Okay. Okay. So based on the second part, let's answer some of these questions in here. All right. So let's see here. So let's just uh, let's just join in together. So blank is that? That's my brother. Which one would this be? Who? 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 Okay. All right. Blank is he going? He's going Where home. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Blank is that? That's an orange. What? 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 Mm -hmm. Blank does he live? He lives in Madrid. Where? 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Blank. Do you love? Whom? I love my Whom? mother. Whom? Whom? Okay. Whom? Yep. So there you go. The whom or the who? Hmm. Whom? Yeah. And this one would. Whom do you love? Yep. I mean, you can use who, but uh. So yeah. Again, that that gets the object right. Okay. Who do you love? Okay. All right. The next one okay. here. Were you born? I was born in 1970. When? Okay, wh where? Where? <laughs> where were you born? When? Mm, when? No, when? 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 Oh, yeah, because man. where's the, where's the location? Where were you born? Blank? Uh, can I do? What? 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 Can I do? Okay. What? What can I do? Sorry, I had to sneeze real quick. Okay, what's the next one here? Where? 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 Okay. Where? Okay. Where? okay. Where? Blank. Will you be at home? I will be at home in half when? an hour. When? 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 Okay. Blank. Are you going with? Who? I'm going with my cousin. Who? 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 Okay. Okay, so good. Yeah. Ten out, ten out of ten. You all are great. You're fantastic. Okay, okay. So now we need to click on the answers. Um, so uh, let's see. Yes, it just comes up. So uh, let's let's have you folks read some of the sentences. Okay. So, no, 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 no problem. No problem. Okay. So uh, M M Roti. Hi M. Hi, is it M? M Roti? EM. EM? Hello, EM? M Roti, where are you? M, hello. M, M Roti. Maybe he's texting. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's, um, no, I th I th is, isn't it a female? <laughs> yeah, she is. I think she is, yeah, not his. Yeah, okay. It's okay, Tyler. I was just double checking. Sometimes I don't know. Okay. okay. And Tyler, Tyler, just watch out for the biots that are walking around. Okay. So yeah. um, <laughs> be very careful of them. But anyway, uh, so M. Hey M. Hi M. I. You know what? I hate to do this to you, but you know this is so disrespectful. Absolutely, just. Anyway. Ay ay ay. Oh, you're gone, Em. Okay, so Jessica, can you read the first sentence here, please? Go ahead. Okay. Mm. Um, I need to respond now. Uh, read the read the sentence and then pause and let everybody else respond. We'll all, we'll all work uh, together. Okay. okay, go ahead. The president of the United States of America. Okay. <laughs> what is this, guys? What? What is the name? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Next one. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Jessica. Okay. What? Okay. Number two. Can you read the sentence? Hey. Um. Hey. Uh. Chikut. It. It needs to yeah. be more quiet. Yeah. It has to be more quiet. Okay. I'm sorry, okay. my friend. I'm so, I'm so yeah. Sorry. Well, yeah. 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 Okay. So just way too much sound. Okay, so Jessica, next one. Okay, month is the Chinese New Year. Okay, 
Guys, what's the answer? What? When? What man? What? What man? Mm -hmm. What man mm -hmm. is? Yep. Which and month? Fendi. Yes. Fendi. Yes. What month is Chinese New Year? February. <laughs> February. Okay. We have the answer. Are you? Are you? Are you ready, Fendi? Oh uh, yeah, actually I'm ready. Are you done buying everything? Have you have you bought everything you can? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, or, no, is it, or is it? Uh, or is it what? <laughs> What's that, just Tyler? Just buying some food. Eastwood City here is really, really prepared. You guys are prepared for Chinese New Year? Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well, hopefully you have plenty of good food. Wow. All right. But Fendi, Fendi's not going to have any food. Ask Fendi. Say, hey, Fendi, Nio Chien Ma, Oi Samo Mei Tian, okay? That means she's, she's, uh, she, <laughs> she, she spent all of her money already. She has no more money left now. So anyway, but good, everybody. Good. Um, so, yeah, uh, John, can you read the next one, please? Just blank and then the sentence and we'll respond. Go ahead, John. What number? Number three, lucky number three. Uh, it's Christmas Day. Uh, yes. When? There we. When? Okay. All right. And the next one, and, and let everybody else kind of kind of try to read it and understand as well. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read the read the question. Let's see if we can answer it together. Go ahead. Number four. Go ahead, John. Don't be shy. Um, number four. Mm -hmm, please. The Nelly Armstrong says when he fears landed mm -hmm. on the on moon. The moon. Mm -hmm. um, where? No. Where? Yeah. Where? Lercy, Lercy, please. What? 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 Monia, can you read the next one, please? I accidentally, I accidentally pressed my mute. So, Monia, can you read number okay. five, please? Um, did he fair blank? Did he fair slant? Mm -hmm. Where did he fair slant? <clears throat> Where did he first land? Or actually, see that one? There's not enough context, right? Okay. Yeah. Because you could yeah, use when, when, when or yeah. where. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there was not enough context, right? Because okay. you don't know what time he first landed. Okay. So you could have yeah. said when and also where, like what location. All right. So the next one, please. Okay. Blank. Did the Americans drop the atomic bomb in Hiroshima? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. When? 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And then Tyler, the next one. Yeah. Go ahead. Next one, number seven. Is New York City where? Mm hmm. Okay, number eight. What? I mean, when? Is this called English? Mm, no. So blank called in English. So um, you, you you had it right. What? 
what is that called in English? Because you're going to be talking about an object, okay? Whether it's a word or maybe something physical. Van, go ahead, Van, number nine. Yeah. Blank are the Hawaiian island. I think that uh, where? C. Mm -hmm. Where are the Hawaiian islands? Mm -hmm. And yeah. the next one? Next one. Blank, are you doing this afternoon? What? A. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you're probably going to be learning English this afternoon, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, pro that's probably what you'll be doing. I, I do think it's um, what. Oh, yeah, no, it is, it is what. What what are you doing what this afternoon? What are you doing this? This, this afternoon. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, okay. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Yep. And then there's also there's some examples in here of, you know, different things like what are you doing at six o'clock? Right? When do you finish work? When do you start work? So oh I love that sound. It's like a dance disco sound. Okay? <laughs> you know, different things as far as like your alarm clock and things like that. Let's just make up just a few more sentences with uh, with asking people when they do certain time things during the day. Okay, so uh, Chikut. Yeah, I'm here. If things calm down, okay. So yeah, why don't you ask somebody a question as far as get up? And there's different things you can use when get up, but use those WH questions. Go ahead. Mm. What what do you like to do after getting up? What do you like to do after you get up? Uh, which person are you asking? Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. Um, what's the question? Go ahead. What you can, What do you like to do after getting up? Um. I like eating my breakfast first and sour. Yeah. Okay. Good. And go ahead, Tyler. Ask somebody else another question about lunch, bed, nap. And you can ask him, you know, what do you do? F what do you eat for lunch? When do you eat lunch? How often do you eat lunch? Things like that, okay? And hopefully only once a day. Go ahead. And pick another student. When do you take a nap? Okay, and who are you asking? Jessica. <laughs> Repeat the question. <laughs> when will you take a nap? When yeah, I so Jessica. Nap. Oh, sorry. When you what? Use with the, with the question, really. Yep. When will you take a nap? The nap. Do you know what a nap is? I don't know what it nap. is. Oh yeah, a nap is just like a like short time. Tree. Yeah, like like in here, it's just a short time sleeping. So you take a nap for like ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah. So do you ever take a nap? Yeah, sometime. Okay. Yeah. Well, when do you use in the afternoon? Okay, good. So go ahead, ask somebody else another question. Okay, go ahead. It's uh, it's your turn. Your turn, Jessica. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> ask. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, for bandits. Ooh. What time do you, fi yeah. do you finish? For me. What time do you finish work? What time? Uh, I used to finish at five five p.m. Like. Okay. Yep. And are you saying are you saying that you usually finish? Right. You usually finish. Is that what you're trying to talk about? I usually finish. 
So that's your typical time. So okay, good. Well, good. Well, good. Thank you all that lasted yeah, to the end yeah, of yeah, class. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I usually yep, usually so good, good, good. Okay. So uh, chicken. Chicka Cut, good to see you. Jessica, nice to meet you. Monia, welcome back, my teacher assistant. Tyler, always good to Thank see you. you looking dapper. And Van, Bye. I'll see you around, okay? Thank you all. Okay? Take Bye. care. Bye. I'll see you I'll in the next class. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. Take care. Take care.